Hello, my name is David Scott and I'm a 30 year veteran master hair cutter and I'd like to welcome you to what I personally believe is one of the best industries in the world. This industry is full of so much variety and opportunity and right now is one of the best times to be joining. My journey began when I graduated from beauty school and made the decision to specialize in hair cutting. That decision actually led me on a path to become a global educator for three beauty brands working with some of the most talented educators and artistic directors, training some of the most passionate people that I've met in the industry across Asia, Europe, and the United States. During that decade-long stretch, I was able to practice my craft at an unimaginable level because I found people who knew much more than I did, and I watched, and I learned, and I shared. Throughout my career, I have been, and still am actually, uh, a stylist working behind the chair, a salon owner, and always a mentor to uh, young people coming into the industry who I believe have become some of the best in the industry. So here you are. You're in your first few weeks of the industry, trying not to cut your fingers off, I assume, and give you a few words of advice. First of all, be humble. Be ready to learn. Know that you're about to uh, discover a talent in yourself that you never knew was there. And I promise you it'll come, but it'll only come with guidance, with practice, and with a positive attitude. Secondly, uh, know that the industry will always change. This is one of the best things about our business, uh, that it constantly evolves. Uh, we constantly have something new to offer our clients. So if you're open to it, uh, your clients will always benefit and the industry will always seem fresh to you. One of the things that I always recommend to people is that you define what your aesthetic is. Uh, whether that's edgy, whether it's funky, whatever it is, uh, define that aesthetic and apply that to how you dress yourself, how you service your clients, uh, and the styles and looks that you do, and also how you brand yourself on social media. The one thing that I want you to remember is that we represent the beauty industry. And I know in beauty school you have to wear black and, uh, and that keeps everybody looking uniform and professional, but you can definitely create your own style and uh, show your personality even in the simplest of outfits. So over the years, uh, I've had the privilege of mentoring many, many students from the Aveda Institute Portland. Uh, all of them, in my opinion, very, very successful. A few years ago, I had the privilege of working with uh, Zach and Julie, who are now the owners of Harris Harper Salon, which I am so proud of. They were very hardworking uh, when they came to me straight out of beauty school. They were committed. Uh, they were very professional. They showed up dressed and ready for work. They were always ready to learn in classes. And that commitment to the industry really paid off. They now are very successful salon owners and what I believe to be leaders in our uh, local community. So um, I know you're in school right now and you're, you're, you're looking into the future and trying to think what your career is going to be like. There will be a lot of obstacles, I can guarantee that. Uh, I know that personally from my, own, uh, from my own experience. One of the biggest obstacles when I was first um, starting off was uh, I was actually working with one of the educators from uh, Aveda Institute Portland, Brian, and it was the first salon that I had worked at, and I was, uh, I was making hair cutting way too complicated. And Brian had to pull me aside and just set me straight. Uh, and so when he did that, it really opened up my eyes to like simplify things and, and to really narrow it down and to really focus on what you're doing. And that became very important as I grew uh, through education and teaching other people and mentoring other people that sometimes you have to simplify things to make it understandable for yourself and for the people that you're teaching. When I was first starting out in beauty school, I actually met one of my best friends and uh, my lifelong work partner and colorist, Brian Evans, and I met him on the first day of beauty school. Um, and we decided for ourselves that we wanted to graduate. That was our goal. We wanted to be done as soon as possible. We wanted to learn everything that we could. So we showed up every day to school ready to go. Uh, and we were very young at the time. We were only 16 and 19. Uh, so for two young kids to make that sort of commitment um, was, was a really big deal. So as you're moving through school, uh, find your level of commitment, uh, find what makes you feel passionate, 
and uh, find the people within the school that can really help you. Like-minded people, always find like-minded people, even after beauty school. So as I said before, the industry is so varied and, and my path has been uh, just as honestly as varied as it gets. There are so many things that you can do from working behind the chair, working on photo shoots, working in film, uh, for product companies. I have literally done it all. Um, and to me, that is what makes the industry so amazing. Having been in the industry for three decades now, uh, I obviously have a very strong clientele. Part of that comes from the fact that the people that I see, I genuinely care about them. I care about their appearance. Uh, I've known them for a long time, so I know of their personal lives and they know mine. Um, I'm not a stylist who is very chatty, uh, but the relationship, um, it has to build up over that amount of time. Uh, and it has to become very close, just, uh, just by the nature of us being together for so long. The people that I see uh, in my chair to this day are people that I've been through their uh, graduations, their weddings, their um, you know, promotions, their funerals, their everything. I'm as much a part of their life as they are mine. Uh, and so when I approach my clients behind the chair, I think of them from that perspective. We're gonna be together for a long time. As you know, coming into the industry, you're gonna hear a lot about social media and a lot about branding. And uh, over the years, I've focused on a lot of different things. At, at sometimes it's focusing on my craft, other times it's focusing on my um, clients. Right now, it is all about social media and it's all about branding. The great thing is that our industry has changed over the last two to three years. And there are companies that have launched uh, training programs and online programs that literally hand you everything that you need to know. So for me, as a veteran stylist, my learning, um, what I'm working on learning right now is how to best apply social media and really understanding that I am a brand, you are a brand, and every single, body, every single person in the room is different. And how are you gonna portray that self, that, um, vision of yourself to people through social media. You have to understand that social media is free. It's free advertising. You can do whatever you want with it. So as you're working through beauty school, start to define what that image is and practice that and use social media to your benefit. So my last bit of advice for you is, uh, I know a lot of you are just starting your uh, journey right now. Uh, and the day-to-day -day of beauty school sometimes can seem a little hmm. But I want you to understand that everything that you do right now in beauty school is very important. This is the last time in your career that you will have somebody there to coach you on every single thing that you do and help you and encourage you. Your journey could be really short or your journey can be really long in this industry. If you ask 16-year-old David, uh, if he would ever be doing a video like this for students like you, he wouldn't have believed it. So I just want to say to all of you, I look forward to seeing you out there in the industry. And please don't forget, as you move through your career, once you've learned uh, the important techniques of the industry, always make sure to share them. See you soon. Oh, you said, you said yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a list. <laughs>